Hey guys, it's Shan Rock. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about my tattoo experience, tattoo aftercare, and what to expect for your first tattoo. This is part one of two videos that I'm making. Part two will be out in a few days. Um, I'm actually getting a new tattoo right over here. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is. You guys are going to see it for yourselves by the power of editing. I only have one other tattoo. And it's that. I'll insert a picture if you can't see it from there. And I actually got to draw it out myself and the tattoo artist put it on my body and it's really special to me. I've always wanted this tattoo for the longest time. Bass and treble clef in the shape of a heart. I love music. Music is something that people will never be able to take away from me, you know? I love being a musician. And it's always been very special. I've wanted this tattoo since I was like 12. <laughs> in the same spot so I'm really excited that I have it on me now. Definitely do your research on artists. You definitely want an experienced person. You are gonna wanna pay for quality. If you think you can spend 50 bucks to get a tattoo, I think it's a bad idea unless they have proof and friends can vouch for them. But other than that, honestly, a tattoo can be an investment. Really spend money on yourself and make sure it's not gonna end up bad. You want to have a good quality tattoo, you don't want to be stuck with a piece of garbage you regret, get someone who knows what they're doing. I've been going to the same shop, I go to Midnight Moon in New Hampshire, I had Tim Myers for this and I'm having Robert Blackdar doing the uh, tattoo on this arm and I will link both the website and both artists down below. They're both amazing and do amazing work. I just I love the tattoo styles that they do. What to expect for pain. Now, everybody has a different pain tolerance. If you're getting your first tattoo, I definitely think it should be small. There's nothing wrong getting a big tattoo, but just keep in mind that once you're in it, you don't want to be one person that leaves with half a tattoo. You want to stay for the whole thing. For the pain itself, it actually feels like a cat scratch on a sunburn. It's not bad. Even people who are afraid of needles, like myself, I'm terrified of shots. Um, Tattoos aren't bad for me. I think I have a pretty decent high pain tolerance, honestly. I've been going to physical therapy since April and it's hardcore some of the stuff that they do, including dry needling. So yes, needles do bother me, but I love getting tattoos. It's a different type of feeling. So definitely don't be scared of getting a tattoo. If you are afraid of needles, I would just definitely recommend starting off with something small if you really want a tattoo. So preparing yourself the night before. I think it's really important to start prepping a few days before, but especially the night before. If you wanna make sure you're entirely ready and have a game plan and know what you're doing. So you definitely wanna take a shower. This tattoo artist, especially based on placement, is gonna be all up on you for at least an hour, 10 minutes to like five hours, depending how big your tattoo is. You know, it's just common courtesy. It's just like, don't be that guy. You want to smell nice. Just make sure not to use any lotions or oils as that can mess up the stenciling as well as the actual physical tattoo. Just do soap, conditioner, um, and shampoo. Also, don't shave the area. The tattoo artist will take care of it. And it's not that weird, I promise. Something that I feel is kind of overlooked is actually cleaning your bed. So cleaning your mattress, cleaning your sheets, cleaning your pillows, your blankets, your pillowcases, everything like that. When you sleep, that's when your body heals the most, and especially getting a tattoo, you are healing a small trauma to your body. So definitely, I would make sure to thoroughly clean your sheets and everything like that. Definitely not a germaphobe, but you also want your tattoo to heal at the best conditions possible to create the best piece that will last. Something else I do is picking out the outfit the night before. This is just to prevent stress because I'm a little anxiety ball and I don't want to have anything to worry about the day I get a tattoo other than getting the tattoo. For me personally, since I am a pagan, um, I do find tattoos very, very spiritual. Um, it may also be the Native American in me, but I find them very, very spiritual and important. So something I always do is I burn some sage, I meditate on why I'm getting the tattoo for the past few days, I do yoga, I really think about this tattoo, I really love this tattoo, and I really just kind of absorb every thought about that tattoo and all the joy and importance of getting it. So the day of the tattoo, you want to eat a good meal. Now, that doesn't mean go out for a rack of ribs. You don't want it to be too heavy to the point where you feel awful getting this tattoo, especially if it's a long session. 
but you also should probably eat something. For some people, if they don't have enough food in their body, they can pass out. Then again, don't gorge yourself. It's just to ensure blood sugar levels are stable. Also something I recommend is bringing up some snacks, including stuff that contains a little bit of sugar, whether it's dried fruit or chocolate, anything like that. Like a trail mix would work really well because it's a good mix of fats, proteins, and sugars to keep you perky without getting too tired or running out of steam. Be gentle with yourself. Your body is about to go through something huge and awesome. And be excited about it, but don't go crazy. Don't go adventuring all day and go for like a 10 mile hike and be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get my tattoo. Just take it easy that day. Take the day off really take care of yourself, and again, I do a lot of meditation as well. Make sure to ask your tattoo artist, but most will be okay if you bring your phone, your headphones, a charger. I would also recommend bringing a hoodie, and again, I already said this, but I really like to meditate on the day I get the tattoo and burn some more sage, just simply because I want to cleanse my body, make sure there's no negativity going in, and also just to really bring this whole experience together. Now for tattoo aftercare, always listen to your artist over a YouTuber. That goes for anyone, including myself. This is my personal tattoos, artist, aftercare instructions. So again, make sure to refer to your tattoo artist about this and make sure to ask them any questions if you have any. I'm obviously not a professional. <laughs> First, tattoo aftercare. Two hours after getting the tattoo, to peel off the bandage and wash with warm, soapy water. Just make sure your hands are clean too. Then you wanna to proceed to pat it dry with a paper towel. Don't scrub it. You don't wanna take out some of the ink. It is normal when you're washing it lightly, just like this, um, that some ink will come out, some bodily fluids like blood or a little bit of like weird clear liquid will come out. Don't freak out. That's completely normal. You're gonna lose a little bit of ink because when he goes in with the needle, he puts in extra ink, so that's completely normal. Then you let air dry before applying the aftercare ointment. There's lots of different types. There's like tattoo goo and everything else. My store sells tattoo goo, so I just buy it right from them. So after you apply it, make sure to wash three to five times a day for at least a week. And then afterwards, just keep on washing it. You don't want to scrub it. Always pat it dry. Always be extremely gentle with this tattoo. It always just ensures a proper healing environment and it just makes sure that your tattoo is going to be the best quality. Again, don't ever use anything with petroleum in it. Petroleum can suck out the ink out of a tattoo. It happened to my friend. This is something extremely, extremely important. My friend got paradise right here. And by the end of the first week, he had one edge of a pee right here. And it was just because of the aftercare that he chose. Some people will choose lotion, just make sure there's no petroleum in it. If bubbling happens, that just means the moisture is trapped underneath the skin. Don't pick at it. Just apply a little bit lighter coats of ointment. You might be applying too much. And also just make sure it's completely air dry before you put on that ointment. Make sure to leave this tattoo up into the open air. You don't want to suffocate it. You want it to heal properly. Don't put it in sunlight. You don't want to get a tattoo and then get a sunburn. That's just terrible. You can absolutely shower and you should, um, but you can't swim or take a bath for about three weeks. When you completely submerge and soak the tattoo, this is just to allow a layer of skin to be able to cover the wound and heal properly. I hope you found these tips very helpful. I've been very happy to get the tattoo experience. I don't regret anything about getting tattoos. I love them. So my overall experience, especially with the shop, is amazing. I definitely recommend them. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know that drill, and I will see you guys at another time. See you in part two. Toodles. Thank mm -hmm. you.